If you're looking for a classic salad to make at home, this easy iceberg wedge is just what you're looking for. It's crisp, fresh, and easy. Hey everybody, I'm Kelly with Suburban Soapbox and today we are making my favorite iceberg wedge. It's the classic salads you always see at a steakhouse, but it's so simple to make at home. Just a few easy tips and you have your favorite wedge salad on the table in no time. To get started, all you're going to need are a few ingredients. You're going to need a head of iceberg lettuce, some tomatoes, some radish, crispy bacon, blue cheese, and blue cheese dressing. You can use homemade blue cheese dressing. You can check out my recipe for it. It's a little lighter than a bottle dressing and super, super easy to make, or just use your favorite bottle dressing. You're also going to need a balsamic glaze. You can buy this in a store or you can actually make it your, on your own. Just put some balsamic vinegar into a little saucepan and bring it to a boil until it reduces to about a quarter of the amount that you put in there. So if you put in a cup of balsamic vinegar, you want to cook it down to about a quarter cup. Your house is going to smell pungent like balsamic vinegar and this is why I buy it at the store. To make your salad, you're going to take your head of iceberg lettuce and you want to pull off some of the outer leaves that are like limp and not crisp and kind of look weathered. And this is not super round, so you wanna to try to find a head of iceberg that's like more round than this. This is gonna be kind of challenging to cut into a wedge, but we're gonna do it. And you just wanna smash this little root end on the countertop. And that's just gonna loosen it up, and then we're gonna pull that core out. You don't want it to go too deep. You just want to get the stem end out. So now that we have the core out, we're going to cut it into quarters. And you want to make sure you're cutting straight through that where the core was. And do this very carefully because your lettuce is going to want to fall apart at this point. And then turn it carefully this way and then cut it again into quarters. And now you have a wedge. And the leaves that are like wanting to fall off the back, you can totally take them off. You're just gonna be left with like a little wedge. That's your wedge salad. So we're gonna place this on a plate. And the same with that. That looks good. And then we'll take off these leaves here and just put that on the plate. So we're going to take the plate of iceberg wedge and put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. This is going to crisp it up unbelievably. So you're going to have crisp, refreshing wedges of lettuce. While your iceberg lettuce is chilling, you can make your blue cheese dressing. But since I already made my blue cheese dressing, we're just going to go ahead and assemble the salad. So I like to garnish my iceberg wedge with some sliced radishes and tomatoes and bacon. You can do whatever you want. If you like red onion, some diced red onion is great. You can skip the bacon. You can add candied walnuts. You can really add anything you want. I've seen iceberg wedge with ranch dressing and not blue cheese. There are really no rules. So just get creative. You can really wow your guests. I think it's funny when I go somewhere and they serve the wedge salad and everybody is like super fascinated with it. It's really impressive looking, but it's super, super easy to make. So that's enough for the radishes. If you have really big pieces of radish, you might wanna cut them in half. And then we're just gonna cut up some of the tomatoes. And I like to use the grape tomatoes and just slice them. And the multicolor just makes your salad look Super colorful. Bacon. Chop that. You could even do a wedge salad bar. You can have it set up so that everybody can make their own salad with their favorite toppings. That's always a fun option too, especially if you have some vegetarians and they don't want to have bacon on their salad, of course. Or if they're vegan and they don't want blue cheese dressing. 
though. I'm just going to plate it all up on this platter here. So we're gonna pretend our wedges are super chilled and just put them on this platter. And you want the cut side up. So at this point, I'm just gonna spoon the dressing over top. And if you put the dressing on first, it gives it a chance to kind of like get down into the little creases of your iceberg. And then it also works as like glue for your vegetables to kind of stick on there. And then some radish. And now some bacon. And I'm only gonna put bacon on three. And then last but not least is a little drizzle of the balsamic. And this just gives it like an unbelievable tang and gives it a nice contrast to the lightness of all the colors that are on here. And last but not least, we're going to add some blue cheese, just a little bit of crumbled blue cheese. And this is where it's fun. You can use like a smoky blue cheese. You can skip the blue cheese and add like cheddar or whatever your favorite cheese is really would work here. The classic steakhouse wedge has blue cheese. And so I was just trying to stay true to that. But again, like get creative. That's what's fun about cooking. And that's it. There's your wedge salad. I'm just gonna take a little bite. Mm. You have that bite of the blue cheese dressing and the saltiness from the bacon and the crispness of the iceberg lettuce. It is so fresh and easy and amazing. You have got to make this salad. If you love this recipe, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more easy recipes, visit thesburbonsoapbox.com. Thanks again.